Hey guys, it's Francesca from Under the Covers and today I have another book tag video for you guys and in this case it's the coffee book tag. So I have my coffee ready and already answered all the questions so let's get started. This is probably the best book tag for me because I love books and I love coffee. So I was very excited when I found this because it is just perfect for me. So the first question is Black. Name a series that's hard to get into but has hardcore fans. And I am now one of those hardcore fans, but it was very difficult for me to get into it. That series is Downside Ghost by Stasia Kane. And this is book one, Unholy Ghosts. And this was probably the hardest book for me to get into it. I almost gave up on reading it quite a few times. And I think the uh, thing I struggle with the most is the fact that the heroine of the story and the one that we follow throughout the whole series is a witch and she has a very big drug problem and we do see her taking drugs and finding that that is the only thing that's getting her through her day so she's always chasing the next fix and i had a big problem with that kind of heroin so i struggle with book one book two was a little better i was starting to see a different side of her but I was still struggling with the drug addiction. But what really stands out about this series is the fact that it's so unique and the way the author tells the story and all the characters around Chessie. They really do make you get so involved in the story that I just couldn't help but be completely sold on it and fall completely in love with Terrible, who is the hero, unlikely hero of this series. So by the time you get to book three, you're probably going to be a hardcore fan as well. Question number two, Peppermint Mocha. Name a book that gets more popular during the winter or a festive time of the year. And that's pretty much all Christmas romance books. And I would probably go as far as saying that my favorite um, author to read a Christmas story by is J.C. Burton. So I do recommend the Kent Brothers series. Uh, you can buy all three stories already because it's a finished series, but I do believe that there's one of them in this Holiday Kisses anthology. So that was uh, a series that I followed every year while she was releasing the novellas, and I really enjoyed it. I think it captures the holiday spirit really well, but I do think that that's something J.C. Burton does in general with all her holiday stories. She always has a holiday story coming out every year, and this year she has Mistletoe Games. This is coming out in October, and it's part of the Play by Play series, which is a sports romance. She has had other novellas that are holiday themed in this series, so I, I always look forward to her as an author that I like to read for the holidays. Question number three is Hot Chocolate. What's your favorite children's book? And um, I did move from when I was a kid, I moved from Panama, the country, to the United States, so I had to leave all my beloved books behind. And since then, I have repurchased these because they are so special to me. But um, this it's actually a series. It's, by, in, it's a Spanish series. I do believe that it's available in English, but I'm not quite sure. And that is Ami by Enrique Barrios. This is a three-book series, and this book basically follows a, an alien that comes to Earth and he's kind of like a kid and he takes a young boy um, in on his spaceship and they travel to different places, to different planets throughout the series and they develop a really strong bond. And basically Ami is short for amigo, which means friend and that's what this um, human boy calls this alien. So I absolutely adored these books when I was a kid. I loved, loved, loved them and I just had to buy them again now as an adult. So. That tells you how much I love them, that I just had to have them. Question number four is Double Shot of Espresso. Name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from beginning to end. <sighs> there are so many books that qualify in this category, but I had to pick one that's sort of recent and it just made me feel such a roller coaster of emotions. Um, and it had to be J.R. Ward, right? So that book is The Shadows by J.R. Ward. If you follow the social media buzz, you might have an idea about this book, but it really is meant to be read and experienced. Like the question says, it's from page one. It's not just about how it ends. It's about the whole experience of reading it. I was on the edge of my seat waiting for things to happen. I anticipated every moment. I cried. I got frustrated. It's a really good book. 
Question number five, Starbucks, name a book you see everywhere. And this is probably a book that I was seeing everywhere um, when it came out, and that's sort of why I picked it up. So I, I am still putting it in this category because I did see it everywhere, and I highly recommend it. And that is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is a historical fiction. It's set in World War II, and it follows basically two sisters and how different they are and where they're at in their lives and the things that they have to deal with during these uh, troubling times. And it's very raw and emotional and real and it really made an impact with me and I loved everything about this story. So I highly, highly recommend it. I know you probably see it everywhere, but The Nightingale, a really good book. The next question is that hipster coffee shop give a book by an indie author a shout out. So when I think of indie authors, I have to talk about my all time favorite indie author and that is L.H. Cosway. And of course I have to talk about the first book I read by her and that is Painted Faces. Read it, you have to meet Nicholas or Viv as we fans like to call him. It's the story of Nicholas and Frida. It takes place in Dublin and Nicholas is a very different character and that is what makes this book so special. Um, being the first book that I had read by L.H. Cosway, I didn't know that that is sort of one thing that she really excels at. Her characters are amazing and in this particular case, Nicholas has had it troubles in his past and he copes with them by having a drag show. So he's Nicholas by day and he's Viv by night. But contrary to regular belief, he is attracted to women and that's where Frida comes in. She is such a fun and down to earth normal heroine and I absolutely love her and I love them together and I love Nicholas and I think that L.H. Cosway is probably the author that you need to try. She's one of the best indie authors, I think. So the next question is, oops, I accidentally got decaf. And that is a series that you were expecting more from. <sighs> this pains me. So the series I was expecting more from is the original Heartbreakers by Gina Showalter. I did enjoy the books, but I was expecting more. I was expecting to be wowed and to fall completely in love with the story. And they were just, okay, coffee break. So question number eight is the perfect blend. Name a book or series that was both bitter and sweet, but ultimately satisfying. And I think I wanted to highlight something that I don't think gets enough recognition, and that is the Blood series by Delilah Dawson. So when I first read Wicked As They Come, which is book one, I was blown away by the originality in this story. And I think that this book pretty much has has it all. It's a little gory, it's got plenty of action, it has romance, it's sexy, it has great characters, it has paranormal, it has steampunk, it's just so well-rounded, it has everything that I absolutely love in a series. So yeah, pick this one up. It's, it's only three books in a series of novellas, so it's quite fast for you to get through it and I highly recommend them. So question number nine, green tea. Name a book or series that is quietly beautiful. And I think I wanted to highlight here something that I think it's quietly beautiful because it's a finished series and it's a little bit older. So I don't think a lot of people that started reading recently know about it or have picked it up. And that is the Brown Siblings by Lauren Dane. I love The Brown Siblings. They're really my favorite Lauren Dane books. And I fell in love with them right from the beginning with Laid Bear. We met the whole family it, and it was so emotional. It's such a raw and emotional story. It has a little bit of everything in the first book. It's actually a threesome and they end up as a threesome. So it was very different at the time when I was reading it. I know that that's probably something more common to read now, but the way that Lauren Dane made it so emotional and so real really stands out. And of course, you know, it has one of my favorite all-time heroes, Brody Brown. That's book two. So you want to read this one. And did I mention the covers are really pretty? Seriously? The next question is Chai Tea. Name a book or series that makes you think of far off places. No better series for this than the Cushiel's Legacy series by Jacqueline Carey. Beautiful stories, 
beautiful world and it just made me want to be transported in time and space and go on these adventures in this very weird and probably not so safe world and I loved it. I loved the um, way that the author tells the story. It really paints a beautiful picture. It's very ly lyrical. It's just stunning and I highly recommend the series. And the last question is Earl Grey, name your favorite classic. So I went back and forth here with a few choices and ultimately I picked a book that was kind of important when I read it as a child because of um, what it helped me get through. And I think that because of that, it really stands out to me as one of the classics that I really remember and I really connected with. And I think it's a great story and I really enjoyed it. And that is From the Earth to the Moon by Jules Verne. I love this book. I read, this was probably the first book I read ever that I pulled an all-nighter and I had to read the whole thing. And it was probably three o'clock in the morning and I was eight years old and I was still reading this. So, loved it. So there you have it guys, that's my coffee tag. What books have you read from the ones I mentioned and which ones do you want to read? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.